Hello and welcome to Learn System View in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 2 and in this tutorial we will start understanding System View Design Environment. When you launch System View, this is the first window you will see often. And this is what we call as welcome screen of System View. In this welcome screen, you can get access to a few getting started videos. And if you want to refer to any specific video, you can simply click on that video and select play video. Now, if, if you are good enough with system view and you don't want to see this screen pretty often, you can go ahead and select this option, don't show me and close this. So next time you launch system view, you will not see this video, but I'll keep this on for the moment. So let's close this window screen now. Uh, the next screen which you get is the first working screen in the system view GUI. And here um, we need to create a workspace. So anything in system view is organized as a workspace. So we could create a new workspace and these are some of the templates which we can use in order to get some basic things already placed or set up for us uh, to be used. Or we can open our existing workspace. So system view will keep track of the last eight workspaces which you have used and if you want to open any of those you can just simply select that and you click ok and the workspace will be open if your workspace is not in the list you can always click on this option more workspace and you can browse to the location where you might have kept that so for the moment to start with this tutorial i'll select blank and click ok and then you are in the in the system view GUI and you are exposed to the whole GUI. Now there are four main key parts of this whole GUI which you need to understand. The first part on the left hand side is called workspace tree. And right now you can see I just created a new workspace and I haven't saved it. That's why the name here is shown as plank. Once I start saving it and I would like to give it some name. So let's give it a name tutorial one. And now you will see the same name here, tutorial one. And inside every workspace, you will have one main folder, which is by default called its designs. However, this is a Windows GUI, so you can rename it uh, the way you want. So I can call it my designs or whatever I wish. Now you do have various schematic or various kind of simulators inside the tree. And if you want to add more designs or more simulators or anything, you could just simply right click on the folder, go to add, and you have a variety of options of adding analysis, design, subnetwork, or an equation page or a function page and so on. So all those operations can be done by simple right click. Now that's the first piece. Second piece is the schematic and this is where we will start building our system configuration by placing various blocks. Now on the right hand side is your library or what we call as part selector. And there are tons of um, you know, different type of libraries available inside system view. So the most common one where you get all the generic blocks in system view is called algorithm design. These are all the general purpose blocks which you can use in your design. Now you could either go to you know, this list and find the component which you are looking at or you can go to a specific category to look for any specific component you're looking at. By default, all category will be switched on. That means you would be able to see the blocks uh, across all the categories you have here. And there's also a search feature here in case you are looking, uh, for example, for a sign and you type and press enter, you will get all the components which have sign either in the description or on the component. Once we have that component, in order to place that component onto a schematic, I can simply click the component and move my mouse over. You don't need to drag that component onto a schematic. Just click there and move your mouse and you can see there's a plus icon along with your cursor. And wherever you want to place that block, simply click and you will have that part placed. After the part is placed, you can double click on that part and you can open up the properties to enter the specification or the parameters which you want to assign. Each component will have its model help. And once you click on that, system view documentation page will open, um, giving you more detail about the component and its parameters and so on. So you are never without any help. So whenever you are in doubt about a certain parameter or common behavior, just double click and open the model help. 
Now, once you assign the different model parameters, we can start placing multiple things to start connecting that we will see in, in next videos, um, you know, for when we talk about running simulations and setting up design. The fourth and last piece, which is kind of important uh, for you to take note of at the bottom, is called error or warning window. So when we run simulation, if there's any error, any warning, those messages will get displayed here and they are color coded. If you have an error, the text would be red color. If it is a warning, it will be yellow. And if it is green, green means simple message which simulator wants you to know, but it's just an information message. And whenever you have any messages here, you will have this exclamation mark also turning in the suitable color, red, yellow, or green, indicating that there is some, some message down there for you to see. Right, that's your five minutes knowing the system view design environment. Look forward to see you in next tutorial video. Stay tuned for more information coming your way and thanks for watching.